me two seconds. Stick the spear tank over on the side there. Oh, is Kate using? No, it's too jazzy. That's where my other arming axe went, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, more scrub zombies, but it's experience for our new guys, so it's still good. Next camp actually has a chance to drop something useful too, I think. Well, I guess we'll see.
a zombie? Why is he allowed to hit me? Where's the team? out of that no we still got the experience boost we don't or rather only a little bit of experience boost how's our mead holding up six days we're not gonna get very far at this rate fish is gone in three roots and berries in three bread in two What is this fight? It's a real fight of some sort, right? A lot of arm. Eh, it's not that real. Necromancer. A few guys. A few fallen heroes. Gonna be annoying. That's about it. The extent of this fight, I think. Uh, we will run one archer. Mr. Kidgen. Where is our. Where are our undead? Undead beads. Beads of undead killing here. Aqua. Okay. So we'll run the bannerman on the opposite side. The two hander over here. It's tempting to run Chris. He's got that negative morale thing, though. I don't like that. Kex has no such negative morale thing. Okay. We gotta watch Kex experience levels. Yeah. Alright, the hammers. Sure. Axes for killing shit. Wouldn't mind a little bit of control over this way. The spear. Uh, cat attack. G.I. Joe was not in this one, I don't think. 12 of 12 right now. Cubix to there. Drop Oak Dragon. Grab Kitchen. For Necromancer duty. Two range DPS up here. Alright. Looks fine. Uh, shield wise, so we're in kite shields, good. How's everybody's armor doing? It's mostly good. Oh, no megas. Hmm, not a problem. Should have given Aqua slightly better gear for this.
see where shit shows up. Uncovered. Oh, this is the end of the round. Should have moved down one. That was the beginning of the next round. This is within three tiles of this, and my rally is really far away. Yep. It's a huge problem. You can rotate him, I guess. It's not a huge, huge problem, but it's kind of a huge problem. Fucking Archer, are you kidding me? It's a Necromancer, he's six tiles away, and no defense, just hit him. You're at 94 aim or something stupid. to take this tile too, right? Because I need this guy to be rotated out. As I walk into a fallen hero, it's a little bit unpleasant. Okay. So we need that zombie good. Let's like see that zombie killed. Not quite enough. Increase out of that, huh? I know I walk into an extra attack from that, but it gets me up for the Geist next turn. that stupid sword too. Scary. 
Let's see what shows up over here, like that zombie, for example. Not a hit. Oh shit, that's supposed to be a line attack into this guy. Damn. Okay. He makes it out of stamina already. Can't move to rally either. Three hits in a row. Can we fucking hit this? Alright, so what was it last round? 260s. The round before that was like 270s. This round is 250s. Well played, Archer. Well played. is too fragile for the late game uh not the entire late game i think they're too fragile for orc warriors okay did rally one die. Don't break my fucking shield. Good. breaking mode. I walk in, it'll probably AoE. Is it better? Yes. And zombie resurrection pushes me off the high ground. That's cheap. Oh my god, we finally killed it. Isn't that a miracle? Fucking archers. They're so necessary and I hate them so much. They're such an imperfect solution to the task at hand. Try to move through two of them with an elevated sword. Alright, they have no more guys. I don't have to be worried about my stamina on this guy anymore. These guys are going to get stuck in anyways. Let's get over here. It's 
expecting everything to go exactly the way you want it all the time, though. We lost six, seven... Are you fucking kidding me, Oak Dragon? We rolled on a 60% to a 70% six times before connecting. Expecting chat to get basic statistics. Basic, basic numerical uh, information. That's, that's the sad part here. When you toss a coin six times in a row, how many times are you expecting to get tails out of that? Now imagine the coin was weighted, so it favors tails, and you tossed it six times in a row. How many times are you expecting to get tails? Give me this crap. Oh, I could have hit him with the other spear. Oops. <laughs> Depends that I bet tails. Yes. The outcome you want definitely impacts the expected outcome. For sure. 100%. Basic statistics. shoot you if it comes out wrong. Yes. Alright. It's unnecessarily painful. This is the loot. Dude, I like games that make me angry. I hate it when I get RNG stringed. It's a painful way to experience something. And I particularly dislike it when my viewers don't understand what the hell is going on. But Filthy, you're always expecting things to go your way. Kind of. I'm expecting uh, RNG to average out. Uh, let's repair that and that. Uh, Cubix needs to sit for a minute. Oh, I mean, it just replaces armor, I suppose. Looking forward to transition to night. Camp throughout the night. At least till midnight. Alright. Let's go look for work camps. Stone fist keep ruins. I guess just busting random camps is worth it. I guess. RNG averages out eventually, individually, it's random. Are you making any sense? It's not random. If I have a 56% chance of rolling on something, it's not a random event. We can go into this if you want. But I think you're going to be disappointed with the outcome. Um, do I want to fight this random group with only two archers? I think it's bandits. That would be the least enjoyable outcome right now. Uh, let's grab Kiljastad. Let's switch over to Kite Shields. Let's drop a couple two-handers here. Bring this guy with the necklace just in case. It's Aqua, I think. Chris doesn't like sitting. He gets pissy if he sits too long. So keep him out. I'm gonna bring Cubix again and TH Jazzy and Cakes. I like their one handed DPS. And 
let's hide one of the guys. Seven range defense, zero. Let's hide that. Let's cross him on the other side like that. We need one more guy here. Mega of some sort would be nice. He'll just dodge. Seems reasonable. Um, Kaleos. Second Mega. Go, go Joshua. Okay. Chat is actually verifying what I'm saying, Mr. Bunny Band, right now, with the numbers of the chance of missing six in a row. I don't know if he actually did the math on that right, but yeah, it's unlikely. It's unlikely and it's unlucky. It's not super unlikely. We get more unlikely events as you roll enough, as you say. You know, if you do enough chances, you know, enough rolls at something, you're going to get unlikely events. But it is frustrating in the moment when you get hit with an unlikely event that costs you some sort of thing that matters, right? So. Uh, let's run 230 temporarily on the Bannerman since his armor was pretty penetrated by that zombie. Uh, we get 150 gear. Took a beating on this. We're at 265. This weighs how much? 39. Alright, let's throw on the heavy armor there temporarily. Okay. Everybody else is in pretty good shape. Do we have more 285? We do. Good. What are my megas in? 320, 320. It's good. We have another 280 home. Which probably weighs less than 19. Yeah, it weighs less than these stupid decayed great homes. Let's throw that in here. Okay. 